Hello and welcome to Rusmedia Equity Partners channel. Today I'm going to show you how scaling MySQL could be easy with Vitesse.io. In 5 minutes I'm going to show you what is Vitesse.io, what issue does it solve, how it differs from regular MySQL and the best features. So what is Vitesse? Developed by YouTube team, transferred to CNCF, it extends regular MySQL with the ability to scale via sharding and also moving tables between databases and much much more. What issue does it solve? When database is growing your tables and indexes are getting huge. Big servers are way more expensive than the smaller ones, especially in the cloud. Sometimes tables need to scale independently. Sometimes you're also looking for customer or product sharding. And also when you need geolocation sharding. Switching from MySQL to Vitesse IO architecture in few steps. When you have regular MySQL and your application is talking to it, what you need to do is you, you need to introduce few services. One is the topology service, it's normally ETCD, it keeps the information about your architecture. The VT tablet, which is a process connected with pair to MySQL D, and the VT gate, which is something like SQL proxy, it's the router to the whole infrastructure. When you connect all together, your application is talking to the router and the router is routing traffic to VT tablets. With this in mind, you can scale it very easily horizontally. So how moving tables to different databases looks like? When you have three tables, customer, product and C order, and you would like to move customer and C order to different database because they are growing too fast. What you have to do, you have to create new database, which is called Keyspace in Vitesse. Using command move tables from Vitesse, you can replicate custom and C order to different database. When you are ready, you can switch the reads so you can check if all the data are correct. And when everything is ready, you switch reads and writes and you can remove the old tables from old database. How the sharding looks like? When you have one table called customer, of course with replication because it's really recommended, you are introduced two shards, then you are using command reshard, which is splitting the data into new splitted by half tables, customer. So you have shard one and shard two. And when everything is ready, you switch the reads, you switch the writes, and you remove the one previous table. If you're looking for more, please go to Vitesse.io and also to smediaequitypartners.com. We are also on Medium. Thank you.